Kendrick Thomas here with Zach Stanford, who's actually going to be training in actually Rising Warrior 6. You're going up against Marquise Johnson. Now, I actually just got off the phone with Deuce. I didn't know he was actually just training with him. Yes, yes. And, uh, Deuce is helping me a lot with him and Paul Gloves with my, my hands. Tremendous amount of help. What's it like training with Deuce? M1 heavyweight champion. I know that's going to be a lot of great experience. Uh, he, he's very motivational. He's not, he won't hesitate to, uh, to correct you on something, and it, it helps a lot. You know, he, he's very uh, attention, a lot of attention to detail. You know, with, uh, with my posture and my stance, the basics of boxing, which, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much a straight wrestler, so boxing is a little difficult for me to pick up. And, you know, he made that transition from wrestler to boxer, and it helps a lot when there's someone in that position helping me. You know. That's good. Paulie Gloves is another guy you've been training with who is really good. He trained a lot of people in the last event. How has that helped you? Oh, his, I, I love just his style of always attack boxing, you know, moving forward, moving forward, keep your head offline. It works perfect to set up my takedowns. And you know everything I throw, he keeps me throw with, with tremendous power, and um, it's definitely you know the type of boxing that I think works best, best for uh, my, my game. Great. Now, what do you know about Johnson's game? Um, I've looked him up a little bit. Uh, I, I couldn't find too much when I saw that he had, his last fight he had a submission. Um, his jiu-jitsu, from what I saw, doesn't impress me at all. He took third in a beginner in Naga, and um, that's about all I could find on him. So I'm not, I'm not too impressed by Jesus, but maybe he's got some stand-up I don't know about uh, prepare for. It. Great. Now, what is your prediction? What prediction, kind of? What is your game plan going into this fight? Um, oh, I would like to get a knockout on my resume for, for me and Paulie. So you know, I'm going I'm to sit there. I'm going to trade it first. I'm going to see if I can I feel out with my hands and maybe, maybe get a nice solid punch in there. But you know, um, if I have to, I'll, I'll resort to my takedowns and my ground game, which I'm pretty sure. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll get a submission or something. That's great. Now, I know you know about the tournament for the uh, 5,000. Any fighters in that tournament that really impresses you? Um, well, there's always Ray Camp, who, uh, who was my first fight. And he's, he's always he's, he's tough. And you know, that was a fun fight that I had with him. Um, so I, I, I predict it's going to be him and uh, probably Carlos in the finals, the two PSL guys. And I, like, I like the way we both of them. Carlos is un, unmatchable work ethic and drive. I'd like to see both of them make it to the finals. Now, it sucks because they're both PSL in the finals, yeah, but it's be tough. I, I, want, I wish the best for both of them. That's great. Now, what about the main event, Charles Rosa and Fernando Tovar? Oh, all I, I don't know much about Rosa. I didn't attempt, but I know Tovar's hands are just sick. Oh, and when I, I mean, that one fight I watched with him, it just nonstop. So uh, that's going to be a good fight to watch. That's great. Kendrick Thomas on the Fuse TV with Zach Stanford, Rise of the Warrior 6. Check him out.